our team recommends using a Logitech C270, a C130, or a C920. These cameras are both affordable and effective for use in FTC. Any USB webcam should work, however, check the game manual before using it on your robot. The webcam can be plugged into any USB Type-A ports on the Rev Control Hub. Make sure to set up the camera in the robot configuration. After opening your robot configuration, scan for the webcam. It should be set automatically as Webcam 1. Make sure this corresponds to the name of the code. After this is done, save the robot configuration. Once you've got your bot set up and configured, you can go to the top left and create new op mode. Name it whatever you want. And then you want to go to sample. And then you'll want to pick concept April tag. Do not pick concept April tag easy, just the regular concept April tag. And then click OK. Now the concept April tag sample pretty much has everything set up for you already. Make sure you scroll down though to this line here webcam name, you want to set this to whatever your webcam is called in the configuration. In my case, it's webcam one. If this isn't set properly, then your webcam will not be detected and the code will not work. This should be set by default for you, but make sure it's correct because I've had it happen where it just isn't set to the correct webcam before. And make sure that the built-in camera direction is set to back. This is what's work the most for me, but if you are having some troubles with it, you can try setting it to front. But for the most part, set this to back. Now, all this code down here is responsible for showing the telemetry data on the side of your screen when you run the program. This code technically isn't required, but there's also not really any reason to get rid of it since it can give you some useful data for when you're actually programming what to do when your robot sees a certain April tag. To actually get the bot to do something with this April tag data, you just scroll on down and let's grab a quick if statement. Let's put it right here. So we will want uh, to detect the ID of the April tag. Each April tag has their own like ID tied to them. And you can see what the ID of an April tag is by just running the program and looking for this in the telemetry. You can actually just copy this over. But if you need to, if you need to get this block, it should be under vision and then April tag uh, detection, April tag detection. And then yeah, my April tag detection. So this spits out a number of values. So we're going to need to get some logic to work with this. If April tag ID is equal to a number, let's just say, I don't know, four, you can just run whatever you want here. Just run your autonomous code here. Now, one of the massive advantages to using April tags is that since your robot can detect where the April tag is, you can use the position of the April tag relative to your bot to be able to position your own bot. So all of the positional blocks for the April tags are also in April tag detection. A lot of this you don't really need to worry about. All of the stuff in here that's already been made, especially these three like positional values, but also the rotational values, those are all very useful to detect where your bot is on the field. So if you wanted to, for example, like have the bot move closer to an April tag once it detects it, you get this and then you can get another if statement in here. So let's say you want the robot to get closer to it. So let's say, let's say it's a Z value. Now, of course, this doesn't take into consideration rotation, You could, but you could always just go to here and detect rotation from there relative to the robot. Let's say you want the robot to get closer. Let's just say if it's less than, I don't know, 12 inches. If it's less than 12 inches, then you can move closer to the default tag. I don't actually have any actuators set up right now, so I can't trade the actual code for that, but it's literally just, you would move forward. And then if you need to rotate, 
we can change it to yaw, and I believe this is now in degrees. So let's say if it's greater than 15, or let's say greater than 10 degrees, you'd say like rotate the robot left or right. Or in this case, if it's 10 degrees, one of the directions, I believe that you would need to rotate your bot to the right. Don't quote me on that. So that's how you actually use the positional data of the April tags to uh, have your autonomous function. If you try to start the program and you get an error along the lines of unable to find webcam and then the webcam name with a given serial number, then that means the configuration is either like just too old or it's not set up properly. So you just need to go back into the configuration and reconfigure your camera from scratch. And once you do that and update the code to have the new webcam configuration, everything should work.